Hello everyone, Ningcam here. I thought I'd make a little video today about something that I've seen quite a lot over the many years that I've been teaching. It's not maybe the most obvious thing to make a video about, unless you've been a teacher for a while. Um, and what I'm going to talk about is how to rosin your bow. Now some of you are thinking, I know how to rosin my bow, I don't need a video about that. My question to you is, do you? Are you one of these? All right. <laughs> now, let me explain something to you. If you look at the hair of a bow, if you put the hair under a microscope, right, you're going to see that the surface of the hair is not smooth. It's very jagged, right? Now in the violin world, we sometimes call those jagged little edges teeth. You know, like teeth. Now, what do you do with teeth? You bite. So when you pull your teeth across the surface of the rosin, you are essentially biting the rosin off, right? Tiny little particles of rosin, you're biting it off and it stays on the hair. Now imagine the equivalent, you know, for teeth, right? If you were, if let's say I went to a restaurant and I ordered a steak. Now I would like them to bring me the steak on a plate and I can eat it at leisure, right? I chew it, enjoy it. Now doing what uh, our friend just did in the last frame, is like, instead of bringing the steak to you on a plate, they fly it by, they fly it by so fast, right? So you're like, and you just can't get any, and it's very frustrating, okay? So that's example number one. Now, let's look at example number two. Are you this one? Okay, I do realize that this part of the bow is a weaker, so-called weaker part of the bow. I mean, after all, you do hold the bow on one end and coming over here means you have to make some kind of adaptations in your hand so that it doesn't suddenly get very, very quiet here, especially in this type of modern bow. But putting an extra um, sticky amount of rosin here is not gonna do it for you, okay? Because you know, you're gonna play, you're gonna get used to a certain type of traction, and then you're gonna get a surprise because it's very, very sticky and very, very sandy, okay? So whatever you need to do, you need to do it in your hand. Not, certainly not by adding a, a crazy amount of rosin here so that, you know, it suddenly gets very, very kind of sandy at the tip, which is not a sandy sound, it's not, uh, a stronger sound it's just sandy okay does that make sense now let's go to example number three are you this one Oh boy, how many bows have I seen where there is a bald spot here and a bald spot here, but mostly there. I mean, it's literally white and then maybe the last couple of inches, it's just black, you know, black, because you've never visited that part of the bow because you're avoiding it because whatever, you know, you, you don't have enough flexibility in your hand and all kinds of reasons so you think well since I'm not gonna go there why waste rosin rosin is expensive yeah why waste it on this part of the bow that I will never travel to okay you know the bow is short enough as it is use all the hair please all of it yeah okay don't have ball spots on your bow because then you you play here and then you get this kind of whoop like air sound air sound and then you get more sound. And then you get a little air sound and a little hole and then it makes you kind of, you know, paranoid about this part of the bow and you know, it's enough to think about when you're playing. You don't need to 
you don't need to have uh, uh, potholes, as we say, <laughs> in, in your bow, in your bow hair. Okay, so let's talk now about how you should rosin your bow, right? Now, this is how you should do it. Now, it takes time and it takes, you know, an extra minute, but the results are worth it. So, let me get my rosin. You want to do it slowly, methodically, and you want to feel what the hair is actually doing. So you put right at, right at the frog here, and you go slowly. You're going to feel the teeth grabbing the rosin. Yeah? You can hear the chaka chaka chaka. You hear that? Okay. And you're going to move it slowly, methodically, steadily up and down feeling the teeth grabbing the rosin all the way to the end okay then you're gonna slowly go back up bow up bow as we say all the way to the end Voila. Okay, now, you know, everyone has their personal preference of how much rosin they want to put in the bow. You know, it's really up to you, but certainly there cannot be compromises on how you apply rosin to the bow. Now, if you do a fast flyby or you're the economist or you're the ball spotter, you're gonna feel it when you're playing pieces. You're gonna feel the unevenness in, in the hair and therefore it's gonna affect your playing and how it feels when you contact the bow to the string. Okay, so that's all for today and uh, I hope you found it uh, useful, this video, and uh, yeah, have a great day playing!